Hi Pisces, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is your weekly general tarot scope for the week ahead. As always, the housekeeping is down below um, with birth charts and how to book a personal reading, all that jazz, along with the um, subscribe button if you feel so inclined to subscribe to my channel today. Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. This card is pushing, it's three of swords. It's about acknowledging grief, acknowledging trauma and allowing yourself to witness, flow through and process those feelings in order to move forward with them. Grief is an ongoing process. I don't know if we're ever really truly done with grief, but there are ways that we can learn to um, manage it so that we don't let it overwhelm us like it does in the very early stages. It kind of feels like it's a wound that will never truly heal. I don't know if this is to do with somebody passing over, in which case I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, that just feels painful. Grief is love that has no physical recipient to receive it, whether that is the re a physical reality of what we perceived our future to be or whether that is a person um who is still alive but has has the relationship has broken down so they're not physically in your life anymore for you to show and bestow that affection and love on or whether they have actually left this earthly plane and in which case they have there is no physical person here to to bestow that love on um and it's about learning and and adapting to how we deal with that the three of swords is one of the most negative cards perceived to be one of the most negative cards in the tarot but for me it is essential there are lessons to learn from grief. There are lessons to learn from trauma. As cruel as it is that we go through these, there are lessons that can be learned from them. There are, you, you are in a place of grief because you loved fiercely, um, that you loved deeply. That's why it hurts so much. And if you were in a relationship and it's hurting that pa painfully that it's over, you loved that deeply. And if you've loved that deeply once, you can love that deeply again. We don't always have one true love. We can have multiple true loves in our life. Um, right now, it feels overwhelming and it feels painful and it feels like you will never recover, but you, you will you will recover. You will come back up for air. If you require some form of talking therapy or trauma counselling at this time or grief counselling at this time, please, please, please do go and get that, that help and support. There's a lot of nostalgia going on right now, memories, um, which is natural as part of the grieving process of processing what happened. We do like to go and reminisce about um, the good times. Um, I don't know if this is due to a relationship. I don't, I, it's, it's good to go over all the, um, the positives and, and absolutely be appreciative for all the wonderful memories you had together. But equally, you need to acknowledge that maybe some things weren't as perfect as they seem, that there were other things that attributed to the, um, the ending of the relationship or the ending of this this happening and it's about weighing up the light and the dark and being overall seeing that not everything was perfect not everything was great that there were lights and shadows um all over the place and that's to do more with the relationship but also with the person maybe there are things aspects to do with the person that you need to um forgive and process um, because even when there are things that you require to work through, emotions and, and memories and things to work through in order to move forward. And we have the four of wands here. And this, for me, this is the midterm review. It's about celebrating the progress that you've made already, um, especially if you have within a relationship breakdown. Um you have come further already without them than you are giving yourself credit for. And also with regards to grief, just you have survived this far. Do you know what I mean? You've you've come this far already. Even if it's relatively new, there is a, there is great progress to become. The Four of Wands also reminds us to look to the future, to take the lessons that we've learned from the memories, to be in this moment, to reflect of where we are right now and celebrate how far we've come, but also to look to the future, to see that, there is hope in the future. There is a vision in the future moving forward that we can move towards that, that although it may be bitterly painful right in this moment, maybe not as painful as it was in the very beginning, but as painful as it still is now, 
there is a point in the future where you can open yourself up to love again. You can open yourself up to feel again. You can open yourself up to investing in another person emotionally again. Um, and it's just about recognising that you're not there yet, but you will get there. You will get there. And it's knowing you will get there, but not putting any kind of time constraint on yourself to be there. Grief is has no linear timeline. It, it can come on in waves. It can be, need to be processed in waves. And right now it's about you giving yourself credit for how far you've come now. And if that requires, if, if where you are right now feels all consuming, then absolutely go and get that help from a counsellor a counsellor who can help you navigate those overwhelming feelings, who can help you through this stormy emotional period um, and, and basically anchor you in that moment so that you can go and explore those feelings and they will bring you back down to grounding because you need to start processing these emotions in order to heal. The four of, of swords is all about, oh, sorry, that's the four of the four of discs, but it has these four spikes on it, which made me think it was the four of swords. But again, with the healing, it's about not with the four of di discs is all about keeping, um, keeping things in and, and, and hiding them and shielding them away from things, from people. It's okay to release those feelings a little bit. It's okay to open up to someone. It's okay to allow that because as I said, when I thought this was the four of swords because of these, when it was the four of swords, that is about healing. Opening yourself up and exploring these emotions is vital in order to, to start healing, to start. You don't, just because you're starting to heal and recover emotionally, that doesn't mean that you are doing the person that's passed over any kind of disservice. They would not want you to be living in this grief stricken pain forever. Um, and it's not that the pain will ever really go away. It's just, you are acknowledging the feelings attached to it and, and, and getting to a point where you are no longer consumed and overwhelmed by them, but you find a way to manage and navigate them going forward. And that may require a grief counsellor or a trauma counsellor um, or somebody that is trained in, in the emotional field in order to help you navigate that you through this new phase of your life, next phase of your life. Because that old phase, whether that's the relationship or the person or the job that you, you, you've lost or whatever that phase is unfortunately over that isn't reopening up again that you can't go back to where that was this is a new phase of your life this is a new way of living um and although the rug has been swept out from under you you have to look at how you expand how you progress forward from this point on um i hope that is of some use to you pisces hopefully i will see you again next week bye for now